trip begins. All loaded up, ready to hit the road. Indianapolis now. We are here. Finally made it here. I guess. I drink Aquafina, she drinks Aquafina. Gotta treat my queen correct. Right, Addy? <laughs> yeah, right. Hopefully everything goes well. I think that back spark plug wire is probably gonna melt and catch on fire, but other than that, everything should be good. But yeah. I think there is like 40 cars. So 
something like that. Uh, yeah, they said like 39 or 40. So it's gonna be a stiff competition, definitely. But next one, I'm gonna have to step it up a little bit. Is that what you said? Definitely gonna have to step it up a little bit with the old girl. So yeah, stay tuned. Strong words to live by. Rolling up here in a big four-wheel drive 1978 Chevy K10, Nathan LaForest of Grant, Michigan. Big old K10, brother. That's a lot of vehicles be whipping around in a burnout pit like this. Let's hear it for the K-10. That was an awesome burnout. Brother, you killed it. That was so good. How, man, he's still got tread on his tires. Incredible. Oh, blue fuse. Hold on, he's got a spare. <laughs> this guy came prepared. He has another fuse. Oh, uh, popped it. All right, we'll push you off, brother. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing. What do you guys think? A big truck like that can do a pretty good burnout. I mean, this goes to show you don't have to have some crazy car. You just have a good old Chevrolet pickup truck. Are you guys having a good time at Indy Cletus and Cars? That's what I thought. Look down the drag strip. Do you see all those cars? We have the most ever at Indy Cletus and Cars. What do you guys think of that? All over these. I even tried changing it. When I stopped, fuel pump. Look at the tires. <laughs> the up pretty good. I'm so upset right now, man. I could have done really well if that fuse wouldn't have blown. I had fun. It was doing great. But I don't know. What do you do? I, I'm going to check some layers real quick, see if I can't get it. Thank you. I'll be coming. She wasn't warm? No, we were not. I know, and I, I heard it. I heard it starting to. I heard it starting to cut. It was weird. It's a fuel pump. 
fuel pump was, that's the fuse that blew. I looked down and it was lit up because I have those light up fuel pump fuel. I'm like, I know exactly. Whew. I don't doubt it a bit, buddy. Let me see the camera. Is it recording? Yep. Look at oh, We yeah. have to be blowing flames from way up there all the way to back here. Man, we were going to pop the tires. I don't know, dude. I still think you did better than a lot of people. Back well, back it's a classic case of I told you. Yeah, I figured they were going to melt. Melt not out. Completely turned off. off. Not yep. on fire. She's still running. I do it. it looks pretty fairly good. I'm going to take my shoes out and put it in and watch. This thing going to run out there. Tried my best, man. I was, oh, that was going to be a good one. That was going to be my best one yet. These tires have so much tread on them. These are 31s. I ain't out here running little baby truck tires. So. <sighs> Man, this this one could have definitely done good.
was a good time. About to head home. Apparently I need a fuel pump because it's now after what happened, it's yeah, it's all right. It's only hundred bucks, hundred dollar fuel pump. You get it from Summit, so get that changed. And, well, hope to see you in Bristol for the next one.